Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> so uh, we just wanted to share with you our little evening of Valentine's Day, a couple of things that we bought and have made for each other. Um, one of the things is this, one's in the oven currently, <laughs> so it's a little duo from Audi. Really, really nice it looks. Well, actually I've had it before, so I know it's nice. Uh, not the chocolate one though. And we've got some bread, baking, and then we bought some strawberries and fruit to go with the fondue afterwards. Um, as well as our main course being some like wraps, which we won't bother showing you. Um, so from last week, we shared with you the canvases that we got really cheap from Best Before. Uh, so we decided to do ourselves some little pictures each of our loves. So Miley's done me this one, which I really, really love. It's got everything on here. Obviously the top one being family and then everything else, earrings, friends, chocolate. She knows me really, really well. So I really, really like that. I'll pop that in my bedroom. And I made one for Miley as well. <laughs> so on here we've got mushrooms. She loves mushrooms. Isn't and in there is family, because that is very important. And then I want Miley to love herself. So I'll put that right in the middle. So you need to remember to do that. And crystals, friends, day trips, frogs, ice skating, she's really come to love. Movies, oh, chewing gum. She goes for chewing gum like nobody's business. <laughs> TikTok and boba tea is a thing. Um, so yeah, that's what I have done for her room. Oh, and I got her a couple of little things as well. Oh. Um, nothing major. How cute are these? Turtley, love you. Did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> and these are also from Audi, so if you want to get them. Um, I love Audi for different bits and pieces. The oven, just ignore it, it's making a load of racket. Um, so that will be ready in a minute and we shall have our cheese fondue. Okay, it's ready. If you listen really carefully, you can hear it sizzle. Mm. So we're going to tuck into that right now. This is so, so tasty. Um, but even when it's not Valentine's Day, they do these in the cheese section. They're really, really good. So normally we have it with chorizo, but this is just mature cheddar. Mm. Also, they had these cute little crumpets. Shape of hearts, we love them for breakfast. We love a crumpet. We're using a spoon because we've run out of bread. Mm. Mm. Okay, so we've got dessert. We got the chocolate orange fondue. Yep. And we've also got things to dip in. So we've got pineapple, marshmallows, and strawberries. Yes. So it's going to be very hot, but we shall dip it and we'll do a blow um so a couple of you were asking about um how i proposed to paul because i mentioned about proposing to him on uh leap year so i'll tell you how we met we met actually through the cambridge rate plan or well, that's what it used to be called it's now called the one-to-one -one diet there was a hundred day challenge set we both took part in it which took place on Facebook in a group so we had to do different challenges and we got to really know each other through the videos um, it was quite personal quite in-depth you know why have you lost weight you know, why have you gained weight you know how can you keep it off this time everything like that so we got to really know each other anyway um, I ended up messaging him first and the rest is history really from that point that we just met got on really well I left it a little while before he met Miley um, and yeah we've been together now eight years so a year after we'd been together um, there was a leap year so I thought right I'm gonna do it because <laughs> I, I was tired of waiting I just knew he was the one um, so what was the point in waiting and I thought it would be you know a story to tell our grandchildren 
and obviously Miley and um, I planned it all. He hadn't got a clue about it. I didn't have a clue about <laughs> Nobody it. Nobody had a clue about it. So um, there was a National Trust place that we loved and had loads of memories at. And on the same day, I did my first hula hoop in class, like I mentioned in that hula hoop video. Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to do like a double thing. Babe, can you take the day off work to take some photos and videos for my first uh, hula hoop class? Um, and then why not after we go to, or was it the other way around? I can't remember now if we did the proposal first and then, no, it was a proposal after. Um, and then we'll go for a little walk. Um, why don't we go to National Trust? Because my mum was there, my brother, was my brother there? Yeah. Yeah, he was, he was. Samuel was there, oh my goodness. And a couple of my friends. Um, but I wasn't there. You were at school, unfortunately, yeah. Um, <laughs> so the hula hoop class went well. Um, and he, I did, behind my back, he didn't know, oh, I can't believe she's made me take a day off work to take some photos for it, the hula hoop class. <laughs> and um, so there's this one particular area of the National Trust where it's like an aisle to the, you know, to your, your wedding. And either side has got beautiful, beautiful flowers and everything was in bloom and it was just stunning. So we were walking down this, what I call aisle, and my friends and mum and brother were behind me. And halfway down was the plan for when I would go down on one knee, but I couldn't make it to the halfway. I was so nervous. <laughs> and uh, so I just stopped, get, got down on one knee, got the ring out and asked him to marry me. And um, it felt like the longest time ever for him to reply, um, <laughs> but he said, yeah. Mm. He said, yeah. And then, did we get married a year after? Yeah, I think we did. This is really good. It's really nice. So yeah, sorry. I hope you like that story. And <laughs> if you want any more details. No, there's no more details. That's it. Um, but yeah, it was, it was lovely. And then we went for like a little afternoon tea there afterwards. It cost me, cost me an arm and a leg, but you know, once in a lifetime sort of thing. And because I'm not asking him again to marry me. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that was it. So um, we hope you are having a lovely Valentine's Day. Um, whoever you're with, you're loved. And remember that always, every single day, not just on Valentine's Day. Um, it's nice to just have a little treat and make a nice moment of it. So that's what we're doing. And um, we've still got this giveaway going. Um, please like and share. We'd just appreciate it so much. Like honestly, I know we say it before, every time, every single one we appreciate, but we actually do. And every time we go up and we're like, mom. I know. <laughs> we mention it to each other and just lately we've lost a couple, then we've gained a couple and lost a couple. And I just feel like we're not really getting anywhere. You know, is there anything that we're missing here, you know, um, that you would like to see that we're not doing any, any, any hit, any hints, any tips, any advice would be much appreciated. This giveaway is for when we hit 350 followers, subscribers, and um, it's vegan friendly. It's a lovely, lovely box of goodies and we will show you it next week or the week after because it's not with me right now um but i have shown in videos before if you want to have a look um and yeah that's it really we shall see you next monday take care for now <laughs>